Good morning, everybody. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit some biceps today. Um, so these are actually one of my favorite ones, or the top favorite one for me, because my biceps actually grow real easy. Um, I don't even have to work my biceps to make them grow. But we're gonna do some bicep curls, some dumbbell curls, and uh, what we're gonna focus on, we're gonna focus on form, we're gonna focus on contraction, and we're gonna focus on control. So, and the reason why I say that is because I've seen a lot of people, um, if you watch enough of my videos, you know I, the momentum thing gets me. Um, so I've seen a lot of people who, when they're doing a bicep curl, they're leaning all the way out and throwing it up, as opposed to just grabbing the weight and controlling it up. So the thing with momentum, when you start with momentum, a lot of times you'll get work out of it, but you get so much more from stopping at the deadlift and just pulling up, as opposed to getting your whole body into it. Now you're using other muscle groups, as opposed to just targeting just your arm. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some bicep curls. Three sets, eight to 10 reps, eight to 12 reps. Control form and contraction. So we're gonna start right here. Notice before I even lift, my palm is ready in position. So when I lift up, it's parallel to the ground. As you saw during that, it was all about control. It's all about controlling the movement up, back down. Controlling the movement up, back down. What you don't want is to control it and let gravity take effect. No, control it all the way down. And I like going at that speed because it's all about time under tension. We're really about building our strength here. As a put, including building size, excuse me. Um, so we're gonna build strength along with size. So when you control it, you're controlling the gravity. So the more weight you put on, you'll notice over time, you're gonna get stronger just from that control, because you're controlling the weight. Because right now what you're, you're fighting, as soon as you grow up, you're going up against gravity and you're coming back down against gravity. So you gotta be that control right in the middle of it, all right? Workout, we're actually going to do the heavy bar bicep curl. Uh, we're going to do this with the wide grip so we can target the inner or the short head of the bicep. 
So the bicep is made up of two different muscles. You got the long head and you got the short head. So when you do a curl with a, a wide grip, which is about a little bit over shoulder width apart, you're going to curve the inner or the short head of the bicep muscle. So these are going to be really good. We're going to shoot for 10 reps with a three sets of 10. So, you know, make sure you get a good stance. Get your wide grip in there. Control the weight up. Aim there. really aren't that hard to do. I actually like them. Really get a good pump out of them. So, but make sure you get that grip in there and breathe while you're doing the exercise. Control the whole weight up. So you could either do these wide grip or you could bring it in and do them a little bit closer to you. You can do either one. If you got a little more time to, to burn, you could actually do four sets. But usually for me, if I'm in a little bit of a hurry, I shoot for three sets and uh, you get the same pump. Once you hit four, you get a little bit extra work in there, but you could get by with three. Just make sure you're pushing yourself. If you have to go to failure, that's fine. So if you're going to failure, let's say you got your two sets in, and you go to failure, and you're on number three, and you're fighting the weight up, you got nothing left, you're going to failure. Go ahead and call it quits after that. In fact, you've actually put in work once you go to failure because you're actually tearing a lot of those muscle fibers. So next thing you need to do after your workout is eat good, sleep good, let your muscles rest. Last set. So we're going to finish up with one of my favorite bicep workouts called 21. So what it is, is you're doing bicep curls with a barbell. You're gonna go up seven times. You're gonna go right about here, come down up seven times, and then burn up the last seven. So I like to do anywhere from three to five sets. Really, it all depends on time. Sometimes I don't have the time. I still gotta get to the workout, so I might be three, I might be four, I might actually be able to hit the five. But it's a really good pump. Um, try them out, but listen to your body. Because I've talked to a lot of people who like to do these 21s, and then they won't do them every day or every other day. No, let your bicep fresh. You put in enough work. Let them rest, feed them, give them a chance to heal and grow. So let's head and knock out these 21s. 